Hey guys, Wraith calling in. I'm on Overlord, and this is a kind of a standard battle. This is obviously a tier 7 game, and I'm in the Tiger 131. Uh, this won't be a complete full overview because it's pretty much the Tiger 1. So, what are the differences between the 131 and the Tiger 1? Uh, the hammer is its own separate animals because stat wise they're different enough that uh, I just want to compare this to the Tiger 1 at this point. So basically, if you're not aware of what the Tiger 131 is, it is actually historically pretty correct to what the Tiger actually was in World War II. And the 131 is significant because it is the last surviving operational Tiger tank in existence. This is the Tiger that appeared in the movie Fury, uh, which you know Wargaming was a big fan of. And this actually does make trips. It's actually a Bobbington Tank Museum in England. They do take it out, drive it around. They do people look at it, get up close to it. And it is a fully operational Tiger 1 tank. So the differences between the Tiger 131 and the Tiger 1, there's really not a whole lot. Um, there, there's one significant difference, um, which we'll get to in a little bit. So the armor is the same. The speed is the same. Uh, like that one the, the track traverse in the 1 through 1 is 28 degrees a second, and the turret's only 20 degrees a second. If you get the regular Tiger 1, depending on which gun you have, the long or the short, uh, both have a track traverse of 26 degrees a second. The short has a turret traverse of 24, and the long is a turret traverse of 23. Uh, so what does that mean? And you know, I noticed, I didn't notice a huge difference. It wasn't a glaring difference between them uh, because the turret traverse, the 131, is better. Um, and that kind of made up for the difference between the two. And you know, I got a pair of Furies here running full and I don't, I had a little bit of an issue, but just trying to line up a shot on them. The other big difference is the 131 only gets the historical short barrel 88mm gun. Uh, the Tiger 1 used to hold the tanks, gets what the long barrel was never production. The long barrel 88 was actually only used on the Tiger 2, um, a handful of the Yag Tigers, and a few of the tank destroyers, other tank destroyers, but that's about it. Uh, so what you're looking at for the 131 does get a boost in penetration over the standard short barrel 88mm gun. Uh, the 131 gets a 169mm penetration with a rate of fire of 10.91, just under 11 rounds a minute. And that's pretty good. And when you add in things like uh, gun rammer and you add in vents, and you start adding those kind of things in, that really kind of gets a little better. Um, I don't know what the exact stats are. Math not a strong suit for me. But if you look at the rate of fire, the short barrel on the Tiger 1 is only 96.62 with a pen of 132. While the long barrel gun, the long 88, has a penetration of 203. Actually, it's going to be better. It's a longer barrel. Increased velocities. With a rate of fire of 89.96. So you can see I make pretty good use of what equipment I'm running. Obviously I'm running chocolate, which gives me a bit of a bonus to that. I run rammer, I run vents. Uh, I don't have a very, I don't have a very good crew to show this is a stock guy. By the way, the, the crew that comes with the 131, that name, that commander, is actually the guy who actually drove 131. Uh, so that was kind of a nice little added feature that War gave me through in there. So how does it play? Uh, well. Before I get too excited about that, there's one final difference between the two tanks. Um, it gets a very modest bonus to crew and XP, but more importantly, it gets for matchmaking. It only sees tier 7 and tier 8s. So people may be a little worried about the short barrel 88. Uh, as you can see in this game, I handled just fine with it and did just well with it without really seeming to suffer. I had to use a little APCR. I've still got it loaded here, but that's just because I haven't switched over. You can see I'm doing that here. Uh, Overall, I like it. It's, it's, you know, I think it's a good tank. Uh, but I like the Tigers, and I have all three Tigers. So this was just kind of a shoe-in. So let's look at the final stats for the game. 
We're running in the background here. Times two. Again, this is my very first game in the Tiger 131. Uh, I got a little bit there. So I'm looking at 2,300 damage, five kills, a thousand blocked. If you watch the game, I did side scrape. I did side scrape like you're supposed to, and angle the armor. Still with 1,500 base XP and five kills. That's not too bad. I'll take that for my first time out. But I, I have a Tiger. I played a lot of the Hammer. So it's not a tank I'm unfamiliar with. It's very similar playing style. You don't do anything different with the armor. Angle when you can. It's still very mobile in a straight line. Fairly agile side to side. Uh, I'll wait to see what the final price comes down. But if, if, you, if you're a collector, this is definitely something you pick up if you haven't already done so. The big bundle is actually not a horrible deal for a change. But overall, guys, I do like the Tiger 1 through 1. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep your powder dry.